Hello, Internet, and welcome to episode uh, 16 or 17, one of the two, <laughs> of uh, L and LA's. Black and Tan Beer Palooza. Uh, super exciting uh, episode. <laughs> <laughs> you sound excited. Oh, my goodness. Super exciting episode. We have two beers by Great Lakes Brewing Company out of Cleveland, Ohio, which still annoys me to this day. It will never not annoy me that a brewing company from Cleveland that that it is bordering They are on a great the lake. The shallowest so. Great Lake has the audacity to call themselves the Great Lakes with a S plural. Just, All of them. Anyways. You just feel that way because you're from a Michi- Michigan, Michigan Great Lakes. Four lake. out of five Great Lakes prefer Michigan. And you live on oh Lake Michigan. Oh my goodness. Look yeah. at this tan line. One point. Don't look at my tan line. Don't look at my tan line. Sunglasses. Anyways, so <laughs> tonight... It wasn't even that noticeable. <laughs> I noticed it. For our black, uh, we are trying the Edmunds Fitzgerald by Great Lakes Brewing Company out of uh, Cleveland, Ohio. And same brewery, Elliot Nest, Amber Lager. Fun fact about Elliot Nest, this guy, Elliot Nest, was played by Kevin Cosner in the movie The Untouchables because he was one of the untouchables that brought down Al Capone during Prohibition. I'm sorry, I can't see you. <laughs> during Prohibition, um, he was a native Chicagoan, oh. <laughs> born by immigrants. Uh, pretty interesting cat. Um, died when he was 54, married three times, divorced twice. Oof. So, yeah. Uh, Sounds exhausting. Like I said, interesting person. I mean, married three times, divorced twice. By 50. Died at 54. <laughs> it's crazy. But uh, he brought down Al Capone, one of the untouchables, along with uh, 10 other dudes uh, in Chicago. That's pretty cool. So interesting. Um, but I want to pour these now. Don't look at my tan lines. It's May, bro. It happens. What happens when you work outside? Yeah, it's only gonna and get wear better. sunglasses all okay. the time. Anyways, so well, if you don't wear your sunglasses, then you get like I messed up. Okay, and hurt. so I was trying to come up with some fun facts about the Great Lakes, and I was thinking there's like, a lot well, of fun facts about the Great Lakes. Yeah, but what are fun facts that are not like boring that everybody doesn't know? Like Lake Superior is the deepest. Oh, Lake Michigan's the only one that doesn't touch Canada. They were Canada. carved out by Yay. glaciers. Okay. They are, so, okay, so anybody who's not from here, they're freshwater. And you cannot see the other side of the lake. Correct. It is true. People so, and people who come here think it's weird. But it's I was, super dope. Today, my fun facts, instead of being on the actual lakes themselves, since you did your fun facts on the... Elliot Nest. Elliot, Elliot Nest. On, Nest. His, on that beer, I was going to do some facts on the Edmund Fitzgerald. Which was the, when it um, first started sailing in the lakes, in the 50s, it was the largest boat, and it would do iron ore from Duluth, Minnesota, through Lake Superior, and then down into Detroit, and then over through um, into Toledo. And then it Ah. loaded up, um, I think the December, or um, November, Ninth in 1975, and it was in Lake Superior. And there, a huge storm came on November 10th of 1975, and the entire bow sunk, including the 29 crew. Um, to this day, there's actually a bunch of hypotheses on what actually happened and what caused them to sink, but. There's not like a definitive answer. They do have some logs, and it they did find the ship after it sunk four days later. It was technically like in Ontario side of Lake Superior, um, and it took a while to even find one of the bodies of the crew member. There is a museum on it. Um, yeah, it's super, very cool. Yeah, it's interesting and super that, sad. Yeah, Gordon Lightfoot did a song and that was released in 1976 on it. And if you're from Michigan a, and you're and you're mystery. on the anniversary of uh, the Edmunds Fitzgerald sinking, 
turn on any radio station, You'll you're likely to hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, uh, it's interesting. It's a cool. So we have no, it's not a cool story. A beer it's sad, but, combining uh, the guy that took down Al Capone and or helped and, uh, and a ship that, a was, ship taken that was taken down, down in the big storm. by uh, Lake Superior. It's take so, down beers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> take down beers. <laughs> I like that. So uh, once again, we have Amber Lager. Um, Elliot and S. Amber Lager by Great Lakes uh, Brewing Company out of Cleveland. Uh, fun fact, also, Elisha and I got engaged in Cleveland, Ohio. We did. And then we saw some orchids. It was real dope. And then uh, our Botanical porter, Gardens. Edmunds Fitzgerald, um, also by Great Lakes mm-hmm. Brewing, also so let's in try Cleveland, it. Ohio. Let's try also our takedown home beer. of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I don't, you know, Cleveland gets a bad rap. Got some great botanical gardens. Got the it's Rock a, and Roll Hall it, of Fame. It's fun theater. We district. saw. Let's try the beer. Rage Against the Machines original tour van, which was like legit just an Astro van. It was dope. I use the word. And Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Anyways, we're gonna try this. That's good. It's a good takedown beer. Oh, I bet I want to go take something down now. Yeah. It's, it's a good. In the bedroom. It's a good mixture. Um, oh, okay. Anyways, back to the beer. It no, it's a good. Well, let's try this again. It's not heavy. Some of the sometimes they they are a little, you know. It's kind of getting back to more of a traditional. Um, it does taste. It's a little black darker. and tan. Has that? It has the. You it has know, like the, the amber lager aftertaste. With a traditional black and tan, but it has like the hint of the porter at the end too. Like you can taste a little bit of you taste a little bit of both on the sip, which is not always the case when we mix our. Yeah, you get no. It's a good combo of both, and which is super fun because both beers I know are pretty widely available in the Midwest. Yeah, they are. So it's available for all of our tens of listeners. So it, it you know is usually pretty well available. So I was excited when I saw those. I didn't realize that they made that amber lager, and I saw the Elliot Nest. It goes Ness, well together. Not there's no t at the end of it, aka the Kevin Cosner. <laughs> you know it's funny. Every time I think of that movie, I just think of the the scene where um, oh, who was it? Sean Connery. He walks into the the shotgun. This is a raid. Okay. This on, is that a raid. Note, on that note, it this is, was a good combination. Uh, try it. Drink we it. Enjoy it. it. Have a good weekend. Good luck. Cheers. <laughs>